Welcome. In this video, you will learn how to access UMGC's virtual lab to perform data analytics in Connect. From your home page, you will go to content. And under content, you will scroll down on the left margin until you see the virtual lab environment. This is it on the right. From here, scroll down and you will see the self-help guide and the virtual lab access. I'm going to click into virtual lab access. From the virtual lab access, you will see many different applications. You will be using these applications throughout your graduate accounting degree program. You can select the applications from this page. Instead, I'll go into the UMGC Virtual Lab Desktop by clicking the top left icon, which looks like a monitor. This takes a few seconds to load, so I will be patiently waiting. When you see the red screen, you will know that you have reached UMGC's virtual lab. All of the icons on the left are applications that we will be using. In the data analytics for accounting text via Connect, you will be given two options for data analytics, Tableau or Power BI. Almost all of the courses will use Power BI or Microsoft Excel and a few use Microsoft Word. On rare occasions, and with the permission of your instructor, you may be able to use Tableau. I will focus on a lab that uses Power BI in this demonstration. On the left-hand side, I will double-click Power BI to open this application. And when I come to Power BI, we see this welcome page, which we will click out of, and we will now go into our lab in McGraw-Hill Connect, problem 4-3, the demo problem. I'm going to look at this as a preview. So scrolling down, it says, note, the tools presented in this lab periodically change. Updated instructions, if applicable, applicable can be found in the ebook and the lab walkthrough walk video in Connect. So in this case, we have the to better understand loans and the attributes of people borrowing money, your manager has asked you to provide some examples of different characteristics related to the loan amount. For example, are more loan dollars given to homeowners or renters? So coming down a little bit further, and we're going to read, by the end of this lab, you will create a dashboard exploring different loan statistics and distributions while your results will include different data values, your work should look similar to this. And by this, they mean these graphs at the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is click here for full size example output if you want to see a full page of this. Before you begin, you should create a blank Word document and you will label that document Lab 4-3 and this is where you will paste screenshots that you will take of your lab output as you go through the, the lab. This dashboard will focus on exploring the various attributes that underlie the borrowers. It will combine a series of facts and summarize statistics with several visualizations that break down the loan information by different dimensions. Okay, here is the data. So each one of the labs has data. I've already downloaded this data. It was a zipped file. I unzipped it and I used the, I took that file and I placed it on my virtual desktop. So these are the written instructions, and after the written instructions, we will be asked questions. So I have found the best way to work these labs is to start with the video, watch the video, and follow along. So I will demonstrate that for a while. Now we will listen to the video. This is Lab 4-3, Create Dashboards, using the Lending Club dataset for Microsoft Power BI Desktop, Part 1. We'll begin this lab by opening Power BI Desktop and then connecting to our data by going to the Home tab, Get Data, Excel Workbook. Locate your Chapter 4 data and choose Lab 4.3 Lending Club Transform and click Open. Okay, we will do those steps next. Here we are in Power BI, so we will go to Get Data, Excel Workbook, and then we will find I placed that file on the desktop 
So Lab 4-3, Lending Club Transform, and we will click Open. While that's opening, I'm going to go back and continue to listen to the video. In the Navigator window, check the box next to Loan Stats 3C, and then click Load. Okay, let's go back here to where we were. We're going to click Lab Stats 3C, which is in the middle, and click Load. It says loading the data into the model. We'll go back to our video. This will take a moment to import all of the data. Once it is loaded, you'll see the Loan Stats 3C with all of the fields over here on the right. Okay, Loan Stats 3C over here on the right. I believe it has a different name than it has here. Notice in the video it refers to fields and in our version of Tableau it will refer to data. So we'll click Loan Stats 3C and you see all of the same data fields here as we see in our video. For this part of the lab, we're going to create four different cards that go along the top of our report to show summaries of the loan data. So we'll begin by creating a summary card by clicking Card, which is in the fourth row, fourth one over. Okay. Fourth row, one, two, three, four, fourth one over, and it says Card. Click Card. And notice it places this card in the top left corner and we can hide the filter pane so that we can see our visual more clearly. For this card, we want to drag the loan amount to the fields box to show the total loan amount. Now we're going to create another card. So we're going to take the loan amount to the field and it shows four billion. So notice that this is a different number because the numbers will be different for every student. And so that's why our number is different from the video. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna create another card and we'll drag it next to the first one. And in this case, we want to see the median loan amount. So we'll drag our loan amount to the fields, then choose the drop down and choose median. And then choose the drop down right here and choose median. So it changes our number also. Now we want to see the median interest rate. So we'll create a new card, drag it to the side, and we'll grab the interest rate, choose the drop down, and choose median. So we're going to drag the interest rate into the field, choose the drop down, and select median. And then finally, we want to show the median debt to income ratio. So one more card, grab our DTI, and drag it into fields, choose the drop down, and select median. Now that we have our four summary cards along the top, looking for debt to income, so we're going to drag that into our fields, drag it up to the top, and select the median. Go ahead and take your first screenshot. Okay, I'm going to take my first screenshot using any software that you normally use to take screenshot and paste that into my Word document. Answer the lab questions and then continue to part two. Okay, so that is the, the whole video. We now have enough information to start creating our, our visualizations, but notice that we could have gone through this entire lab using these instructions it would have come out exactly the same. So now we can go down and answer the, the questions. So in this case, what is the total loan amount? And we're going to go into here, our total loan amount is $4 billion. So that's what we would answer. Remember, this is using different numbers. And then we're going to come down further. What is the median loan amount? The median loan amount is 13000 And what is the median interest rate? 14%. And the median debt to income ratio is 17.63. So we've completed all those questions. And then it will ask some other questions that you should be able to answer after reading the after doing the readings.
This, I believe, would be in chapter one or two. What type of analytics do these data cards represent? Descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, or prescriptive. And these are descriptive diagnostics. Explanation, no further explanation is needed, it says. Okay, now we have come down here and there are some more questions. Question one, why do we show the median values in this dashboard instead of the average values? So that would be something that you would find in your reading. What other summary values would, be, would you find useful in summarizing this loan data on a dashboard? After you have finished answering all of the questions in Connect, you may have been required to upload screenshots of different parts of your lab solution. Please do so in Leo in your assignment folder. Also, come back, check out the Connect by McGraw-Hill. You may find your professor has included additional information. There may be a presentation file, and also you may have student resources for data analytics for accounting. These resources are also available if you log into your McGraw-Hill Connect account. I hope you found this video helpful and look forward to seeing you in class.